Hey, come on, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Shut up. Jeez, Bron, come on, let's go. We got our stuff. What are we waiting for? Just gonna have a little fun. That's all. to try it on for it. Look, you can have you can have everything. There's some credit cards and money. Take this ring. I'm Didn't I tell you to shut up? You will pick whatever we want. Take it easy. You don't have to hurt her. You shut up. First time out. You take notes. You don't call the shot. Kids worried about Johnny. Tell him you're having a good time. Say it. I'm having a good time. See? She's enjoying herself. Now tell him you like me. I like you. We all fear darkness and loneliness and strangers in the night. Our fears, like stray cats scavenging in dim alleyways, lurk in the dark corners of our minds, lying in wait for us. And then one night, for some of us, those fears come to life. This is when fear becomes terror, a terror that turns us inside out, eats at us, changes us. 
You all right? You all right? Yeah. Listen, did they, uh... said something about them not going back to their car. Okay, I have the whole place covered. I want the plates of everything within four blocks of here. It's got to be around here somewhere. How are you doing in this alley anyway? It's asking for trouble. It wasn't my choice, Kevin. Look, I'd like to go home now, if you don't mind. Are you going to be all right, Nikki? Yeah. Frank, she's going to be fine, just fine. Now, listen, before we go, I want you to tell me what you remember so we can get it out on the air. Kevin, it was all so fast. Come on. There were three of them, and they were about 18. Maybe a little older. White. They had on jeans and dark jackets. They were d dirty. Is that all? One of them had blonde hair. Almost white, and he had leather pants. And do they say anything to each other? They talk to you? I can't remember anymore, right? This will start. Where's your car? So we're there in the lot. I'd like to go now. I really would like to go we're now. We're going. We're going right now. Okay. Here. Okay, we got it all. Sure you're going to be all right? I don't want those clothes. Okay, come on. Don, do me a favor. Go and take her home. I'll be right back there. Sure. Yeah. Would you, uh, Wait. Would you drive him home? I'm supposed to be for the sergeant. Yeah, I'll talk to the sergeant. Just uh, drive him home, please. Yeah. Kevin, I want you to take I'll be there as soon as I can. i got to tidy this up. Please. I got three white males, 18 to 20, jeans, dark jackets. One was a blonde in uh, leather pants. You get anything? Yeah, okay, the gold chain, they must have dropped it, and they got her wallet. We haven't got any prints. Did you get anything? Nothing. We almost got them. Though. Yeah, but you didn't get them. There are two of you, and right. you didn't get anywhere with them. Okay, see what you can do, okay? Right. I want this whole place covered inch by inch, Frankie. And right. make sure everyone gets a description, okay? All right, I'll handle it. What are you doing? What do you think we're doing? Could have had a nice time with that broad if you didn't mess up. If it wasn't for you, she never would open her mouth when the cops came. Come on, it wasn't my fault. You blew it, Daddy boy. Spoiled it for all of us. Oh! Oh! Yeah! You ain't pushing me around. Come on. Come on. Try it. Go for it. Danny boy wants to play. Hey. You know, kid. Just trying to teach you how it's done. Be all right. Takes a little time. Now, what'd you do with that broad's wallet? You did good. Me and Eff are going over to Sammy's. See if we can pick up a little bread for these damn cards while they're still worth something. Oh, well, what about me, Bron? Can I come? You? You gotta go back and get the car. There'll be cops all over the place. You get the car, or you get lost. And get rid of this on your way. Why don't you sit down? I'll make some tea. Somebody who can't leave her job at the office. Hey, Bronk, 
Come on, let's go. Don't worry about those punks. Kevin will take care of them. Kevin? Why didn't Kevin drive me home? He's upset. Probably won't stop until he gets them, either. That scares me. as soon as I could. How are we doing? We're doing pretty good. And I remembered the name of one of the guys. Um, the blonde one. Bronk. Bronk. All right, I'll call it in. Oh, I'll get it. Uh, I said I'd be here. Hello. I, I just wanted to tell you. What? I'm glad those cops came. Who is this? I, I didn't want those guys to hurt you. You're okay, aren't you? Who is this? Who the hell is this? Scum, I'm coming for you. Nikki, get your coat. We're going to my place. Come on. You gotta get those punks if it's the last thing I do. Do that. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Must be too hard to find a punk named Bronk. Listen, Nikki, are you sure you, you remember? Know, I've told you everything I know. Everything. But I'm sorry, I just can't help it. There are three animals out there. And you're stuck here. No, that's not it. I didn't mean that. You'd rather be out there looking for them, wouldn't you? Well, why don't you just leave? I am not leaving you alone. I am fine. I am perfectly safe. They don't know this address. They don't know this phone number. You gotta get the locks in your door changed first thing in the morning. All right. What about your credit cards? You gotta call about them? I'll do it in the morning. But if you would go back to work right now, I could get some sleep. Well, you can't sleep with me here? Oh, please, Kevin. We're driving each other crazy. Please. Or something. I'm tired. Okay, okay. I'm gonna uh, go down to the station. And if, uh, will you call me if you need anything? Yeah. Be careful. You having nothing? I'm all right. Oh, crap. 
Explain bucks with a credit card, and the creep won't give us any money till tomorrow. No, Sammy, he don't give you nothing till he sells them. Oh, terrific. So what we got? Twenty bucks for us? Hey, what the hell are you looking at? What I told you to get rid of this. Danny's got the hots for blinding. What's the matter? Girlfriend's got a boyfriend. Too weird, you know that kid? No, but she sure don't have the hots for you. <laughs> Terrific. So what do we do now? Boost another wallet? Feel like a little house cleaning? Huh? That damn boss of mine's away the whole week. Took his family to their country house. Yeah. Sound good to me? Sound good to you, Danny boy? Yeah. Yeah. No, she's all right. She's all right. She's a little upset. Hey, well, Kevin, uh, why don't you take the rest of the night off? No, I think I was uh, just making her nervous. That's it. Well, what do you say I send Stevie over there to keep you company? Okay, Jim, thanks. I appreciate it. Okay. Give him my love. Yeah. Stevie? Yeah? Go over to Kevin's place. Right away, sir. Colby can drive the homicide for me, can't you, Colby? Oh, uh, uh. probably driving Nicky crazy anyway. <laughs> Look, you ought to be over there with her. That's what I think. Uh -huh. She's probably better off with Stevie. Oh, like hell. You need somebody over there who can, like, teach Stevie. What? To protect her? I better believe it. And Stevie can't do that. It has to be a man. Look, that's not what I'm saying. If mm. it was my lady, you wouldn't get me out of there. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Got something? Yeah, a radio car found several vehicles in the lot when they checked it. Uh, one of them uh, was registered to Roy Braun. Well, why didn't you bring him in? Any, anybody tell Kevin about this? No, we checked it out. We got the address off the registration. Yeah, his mother talks like she never even heard of him. He hasn't been there in three days. She doesn't know when he's gonna be back. She doesn't even give a damn. Anybody pull a record on? Juvenile stuff. It's all sealed up. Is this a juvenile that we're talking about? Was a juvenile. He's 19 now. Well, I hope for Kevin's sake they all are. Because if one of them's a minor, the other two will make him take the rap for all of them. They'll all take a walk. That'll drive Kevin nuts. He's already shook up as it is. He'll handle it. Thanks, Tommy. Keep it quiet.
beat it. What the hell is there to believe? It's meatloaf and lasagna. I don't feel so hungry. Look, you guys want something or not? These people are looking to eat here, you know? Lasagna, lasagna. What's some lasagna? Give him some lasagna. There you go. Enjoy. Share it between the two of you. I gotta just help this guy here. Sir, step right up here. What would you like? You look like a meatloaf man all the way. Ah, there you go. You're gonna enjoy that. Take it easy. Here. That's a nice jacket. Did you steal that? <laughs> I'm kidding you. What do you guys want? I want you to find out what you can about three particular punks. What do you got? One name, Bronk. Bronk. Well, what, like, is it a horse or something? Maybe. Forget what it sounds like. Just get us this punk, okay? All right, just give me a second. Ma'am, can I help you? Yeah, step right up here, ma'am. Yeah, I'll give you a bit of both here. I'll take a piece of meatloaf, a piece of lasagna. Okay. That way you don't have to rattle your brain with a choice. <laughs> well, you guys got some sort of a clue here to help me out with? It's important. Why don't we start with that, okay? Well, you guys, everything's important. Look, huh? I don't want to play any games. I want some names now. Like, come on, talk. What the hell's bothering him? They roughed up his lady, okay? Right. Help him out here, will you? Here, take these, will you? I didn't know that. Is she okay? Well, it could have been worse. They got her credit cards in the Listen, if your friend Bronk has any idea what he's doing at all, first thing he's probably going to try to do is fence the cars. Are you going to give us some names or a lecture on the credit card racket? I got names. I got names. You want names? I'll give you four names. Get this, sir. Write this down, Jan Bowman. All right, first guy's, uh, Tony Marcos. There's another guy in the East End, uh, Saul, Saul the Herring. Saul the Herring? Well, what do you think, I make these things up? All right, um, last guy's, I guess, uh, Sammy, Sammy, what's that guy's name? Sammy something, I don't know, he runs a South End Tavern. You guys would probably enjoy yourselves there, actually. Mm-hmm. That's three. What did I say, four? All right, so it's three. Is that it? I guess I gotta get back to work. Hey, hold it a second. Look, level with me. What's your angle here, anyway? My angle? Yeah, you know why you're here. What are you doing this for? You see that guy at the till? Yeah? He gives me a little something off the top. You know, so, under the table. Right, let's go. What do we owe you, please? Uh, there is no charge for the food, my friend. But you could read this. Of course, if you'd care to make a donation. Oh, yeah, here, read that. You must be friends of Arthur's. Yeah, yeah, we are. Thanks. Well, this is really sweet of you, Stevie. Nothing Kevin wanted me here anyway. And besides, like my mom always said, if something's bothering you, pig out. And if something's bothering somebody else, pig out with them. <laughs> That's still sweet. This seems a bit crazy, though. I mean, dragging you halfway Check. across it. Oh. It's as if I was raped or something. I was just... Oh, it doesn't matter what they did to you. They still scared the living hell out of you. Yeah. Oh, gosh, you go through life reading about it in newspapers and hearing it happen to other people, but somehow it just... it just never seems real, you know? Yeah, I do know. My job, it touches me every day, the violence, the reality of it. It still seems like it's happening to somebody else. Did you ever shoot anyone? Yeah. Did you kill him? Her. No. I didn't kill her. Did you ever want to? I was just doing my job. I... I wanted to kill those animals tonight. And I think if I 
had a gun, I would have. It scares the hell out of me. Yeah, you were just frightened. I'm still frightened. They attack you, they debase you, they make you feel so, so powerless and so vulnerable. I never want to be that vulnerable again. Oh, God, I've never felt like this before. I've always been against guns, and now... It's only natural. What, to want to kill someone? You're not gonna kill anyone, Nikki. You're angry. There's nothing wrong with being angry. Believe me, when you're looking down the barrel of a gun at another human being, it's the hardest decision you could ever make whether or not to pull that trigger. Maybe for a trained cop. For me, there wouldn't have been any decision. I would have just reacted. It would have just been rage. This guy's name is? Sammy something. He's the manager of the place. Sammy something. and stuff. Well, I mean, I'm into locking up. Uh, no, I'm not into bondage. Well, why don't you try down at the bar? Hi, Judy. What are you doing there? You're cruising. Can I help you? We're looking oh. for the manager, Sammy. Certainly. If you'll just wait here, I'll get him for you. Just point him out. He doesn't like... He doesn't like having his place closed down. Will you point him out, please? Actually, I think he's in his office. Thank you very much. Come in, gentlemen. Thanks a lot, Tony. You're an angel. What can I do for you, officers? Detectives O'Brien and Jambone. That depends on what you want to do for yourself. We hear you handle plastic money. We accept credit cards, if that's what you mean. That's not what I mean. You want to try again? It's a private meeting. Send them packing, or I can take you downtown. We have a lot more privacy. Shouldn't have come on so strong. What the hell is all this about? I told you, credit cards. Well, I'd like to know who the hell. Look, we don't care about you, and we don't care about the damn credit cards, okay? We want the humps who sold them to you. Who was saying anything Sammy! about. Sammy! I am not fooling around. This is personal. I want the news now. This ain't coming back to me, is it? It ain't going nowhere. Well, uh, I'll uh, help you on this. Yeah, we got a long memory, Sammy. Don't worry. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, I bought some cards. Whose name was on them? Some broad. I can't remember the name. The name Nicole Ring a Bell Freehold? <clears throat> Maybe. But they're gone now, man. I sold these cards to these guys. They probably used them and tore them up already. I don't care where they went. I want to know where they came from. Well, some, some kid. He's been... Ripping off purses since he was seven. He comes in here every couple of weeks with cards, and sometimes he comes in for socializing. This kid, he have a name? I don't know it. I wish I did. Am I gonna get a phone call when he comes in next? Sure, sure. The minute I hear from him. Because if you jerk me around on this one, Sammy, I'm gonna make putting you out of business my career. Don't worry, Brian. I helped you out, didn't I? 
Didn't I? No, that's sweet. I... Yeah. I love you, too. Bye. He keeps telling me I should get some sleep, and then he calls me every 20 minutes. You want to watch some TV? He forgot to tell me to put on the chain lock. Hi, let me guess. You forgot... Hello? Hello? the wrong number. Oh, there's a good bogey Bacall movie on tonight. Look, Stevie, would I be ungrateful if I said I wanted to be alone? Kevin asked me to stay, Nikki. Look, I feel like a specimen. I want to have a glass of warm milk and have my bath and go to sleep. Okay. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fine. And please take the cookies with you. Oh, God. I never want to see another cookie for as long as I live, thank you. Now, you call me if you need anything. Anything. Okay. Tonight. Thanks. My name is Danny. I gotta talk to somebody. All right. What do you want to talk about? Tonight. I didn't want to do it. Didn't want to do what? Sit on the couch. I didn't want to hurt anybody. You didn't hurt me. I'm fine. I didn't. But he did. Bronk. He wanted to hurt you. All right. I'm don't you believe me? Of course I believe you. But I saw that you were trying to help me tonight. I need a light! There's some matches in the kitchen. I'll get them. said you didn't like me. He was right. You don't like me. Do you? I do. I like you very much. You are lying. Why would I lie about that? Because you've got a boyfriend. That's true. But that doesn't mean that... that I don't like you. A lot. We're friends, aren't we? Why? Why do you like me? Because I think that you're, you're a very nice person, and because I have a son. We killed a girl tonight. Don't you understand that? We killed her. We killed that girl tonight. Listen to me, Danny. I think 
think I know someone who can help you. You need some help. I think he can help you. Don't you think that would be a good idea? I'll just phone him, okay? I know we can help you. You really can. I'll just phone him, all right? I'll just phone him. Are you through? Get out of here! Look, you don't even want to go in there. What do you got? A girl, Melissa Hatfield, 20, raped and beaten to death, and I mean beaten. Yeah, well, the neighbors across the street say the family's been away for about a week. Girl apparently stayed behind to study for her nursing exams. Must have been a bunch of them. Seems like they broke into the garage, threw themselves a party, helped themselves with some booze, ripped the stereo out of the wall. They probably figured the place was empty and caught it by surprise. Yeah, emergency reports receiving a call from a female, but they couldn't make out the address. Damn. Yeah, I know. Forensic says they'll get some good, clean prints. Freaks touched everything. Colby, Carson, take a look at this. What do you got? Under the table. Isn't this O'Brien? What the hell? Sammy, I've got to talk to you. Tell Rufy he can have the rest on Monday. No problem. They keep telling you they're going to break your legs. One of these days, they're going to really do it. Did I ask you to run my business? What kind of trouble are you on now? How the hell do you know that? Because you come running in here like you had Tonto and the Lone Ranger on your trail. Or just possibly. Because I've had the cops here climbing up and down my back looking for you. How the hell could they know already? It doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to track down the credit card. They were looking for the cards, that's it? Yeah. Why? What the hell else did you and your buddies do tonight? It's just the credit cards. We didn't do nothing else. Hey, come on, Bronk. Let's get out of here. Listen, I need the money tonight. That's not our arrangement. You'll get it tomorrow. I'm not fooling around, Sammy. I need it tonight. Jeez, what the hell did you do? Never mind that. Tonight, now. Well, I've never cheated you. I'm in debt up to my privates. You know how it is. Cards are probably only worth a couple of hundred. Like hell. Hundred tops. Come on, make it two. For old time's sake, huh, Sammy? Right. Old time's sake. Unit 1209, respond to 12th and Harrison. K. 1209, 10-4. Guess why they got lucky. Thought you guys weren't coming, man. What'd you come up with? Well, your buddy Bronk was not easy to find. I mean, he wasn't exactly listed in the uh, who's who of weasels. You know what I'm saying? Well? Well, he hangs tight with a guy named uh, Sammy. Remember the guy I was telling you about? You can find him at the South End Tavern. That's something. Hey, I told you the guy, man. They're weasels. I'm going to break that hump in little pieces. We'll have to draw straws on that one. Go get him, buddy. Hey, you're welcome, huh? Can I have one of those? It's not going to work. I don't know what you're talking about. You're afraid of me. And you're supposed to be my friend. How can we be friends if you're afraid of me? My goddamn boyfriend. The cops are after me. That's why you need help, Danny. You said you didn't do that to that girl tonight. I believe you. They'll believe you, too. I never wanted them to hurt you. I never even wanted them to frighten you. We were only supposed to take your pocketbook. Well, tell him, Matt. You need help, Danny. Don't throw it all away. Uh, 
09. Frankie, it's Kobe. We just came from a homicide and rape. Looks like it's the same dudes that tried to mess up Nikki. Forensics found a snapshot of Kevin in the house. Must have come out of her wallet. Step on it, Frankie. Okay, Colby, you and Freddy meet us at the South End Tavern. 10 4. Wrong. Made us wait there. She opened the door. She screamed when she saw us. Bronk grabbed her and pulled her over to the bed. He told us to get out, to wait our turn. They said I was going last. But I didn't want to do it anyway. Bronk took a long time. And when he was done, he said we had to go. But Huff went upstairs. And then he came running back down. Screaming. How far do you think that's gonna take you? It's okay. I'm not planning on Paris. That's good. Before, Sammy. You're not gonna do it again. Tell us where the kid is. All right, all right. He's here. He's in there. scare me. It doesn't scare me anymore.
We know all about outrage and fear and terror. At least we think we do. But how much do we know about ourselves? About how we will react if it ever comes down to an all-out struggle between us and them? Maybe, just maybe, our illusions about our control and dignity and humanity will be stripped from us and we'll meet terror with terror, outrage with rage. Or maybe we'll just get to know ourselves better. Maybe we'll see that our true selves are what we are at our best, not our worst. This is our hope, that we'll come out of this nightmare with our love intact. And I feel the love.